Eh bien, évidemment, le cinéma expérimental s'élève contre toute l'histoire des images dominantes. Ça va, ça va de soi. Et ça nous donne à nouveau cette formule sublime de Jonas Mika, c'est toujours lui. Euh, le cinéma hollywoodien n'est qu'un réservoir de matériaux qui servira plus tard aux artistes. <rire> Donc, le cinéma expérimental, c'est un, à ce titre une initiative spéculative absolument majeure dans son ensemble, puisque c'est ce champ du cinéma euh, qui s'est aussi donné pour tâche à la fois de critiquer, de parodier, de détourner et de détruire les images dominantes, et aussi bien sûr de les compléter, euh, de rappeler tout ce qu'elles ont caché, euh, de rappeler tout ce qu'elles ont occulté, euh, et tout ce qu'elles ont euh, falsifié. Et donc c'est une des grandes euh, entreprises du cinéma qu'on appelle même en France le cinéma du found footage, euh, du cinéma récupéré. Un film qui s'appelle Radar, en fait c'était la, la première fois dans mon travail que je comprenais le, le potentiel, disons, de... Euh, de la recréation d'un mouvement à partir d'images hétéroclites. J'avais euh, euh, trouvé un catalogue d'armement à la bibliothèque de, de Beaubourg et euh, j'étais en train de faire un film sur la société de contrôle, sur la surveillance, sur la paranoïa. Et du coup, j'avais euh, scanné tous ces, toutes ces images de radar. Et du coup, j'arrivais à reconstituer un mouvement à partir de ces radars, un mouvement panoramique, comme si c'était euh, issu d'un seul et même radar, sauf que c'est un mouvement composite. Et c'est à ce moment-là que j'ai compris qu'image par image, on pouvait aller très loin justement dans la recréation de ce mouvement. Now, of course, you know, there's, you know, the complex thing about it is that there's, there's, um, there's a, it's hard to escape the idea of genre. And of course, with, with genre comes meaning, or comes predetermined meaning. And so I suppose for me, what I'm interested in is the idea of, in some levels, sort of collaging different genres. Uh, are, are using genre as an idea within within the productions that I make, um, and I suppose my understanding of genre is very much bound up, as I said earlier, with, with sort of um, um, with historical forms. The idea of taking forms that that sort of pre-exist and working with those forms. On July 18th, 1980, Frank Sinatra, the entertainment industry's chairman of the board joined Lee A. Iacocca, chairman of the board of the new Chrysler Corporation, at the first public exhibition of America's newest luxury car, the 1981 Imperial. After opening the exhibition and viewing the new Imperial, Sinatra and Iacocca spent some time discussing what America needs in a luxury car today, and how this new Imperial fills those needs. With a very elegant looking automobile. What pleases me more is that the styling actually helps the car to perform the way you need a car to perform these days. What about the things I can't see? What about the engineering? You guys had a big reputation for engineering. I believe we're still ahead, but engineering a car has changed radically in the last 10 years. Come on, Lee. This country could put a man on the moon but can't build an automobile right? Obviously, a lot of the time, I, I'm interested in the idea of if you recover forms that are at some level lost, then you then there's I think that there's a potential um, rupture can take place in recovering something that's that's been lost. Um, because at some level, I think in all my work, there's an interest in the idea uh, of what constitutes the normative and what constitutes. Um, um, what constitutes, how do we understand now? And I think in some ways the really interesting way of addressing that is often by recovering things that have been lost from the recent past, whether it's a sort of genre form from, from TV chat shows or whether it's a, an article from an old magazine. <laughs> ce qui traverse le cinéma d'avant-garde et expérimental, quel qu'il soit, qu'il soit politique, plastique ou scientifique, c'est un certain nombre de valeurs euh, qui sont la liberté d'esprit, l'exercice critique, donc l'indépendance totale à la fois intellectuelle et, et économique, et puis l'indépendance politique, bien sûr, euh, euh, et puis l'indépendance euh, vitale et existentielle. Experimental film is is more challenging politically than even political films made in the conventional cinema. Changes the the way people 
look at and think rather than changing their opinions. In the conventional cinema, political content is intended to change people's opinions, change their, their, their understanding of something, but it doesn't change the way they think and it doesn't change the way that they structure their, their understanding of the, of the world that they live in. And so uh, I used a term in the past that, it, that, that it's, it's a politics of perception. It's a politics of thinking. It's not a, it can be no political content whatever. Uh, it can be utterly abstract. I mean, when you, when you see, it's really interesting that in the Third Reich, the, the decadent film, the decadent artists, the ones who, were, who really couldn't survive in the Third Reich were the abstract artists, right? They were the ones who were the threat. Not because they, they uh, represented any overt political content, they represented a way of thinking that undermined the, the dominance of the, of the, the fascist regime, right? So it, it, you don't have to have, it doesn't have to be something that is identifiably in the content for the work to have a radical impact. So for me, it's interesting to work with those things that, that to work with magazines um, or material that comes from a period of time that's, that also exists in your memory. Uh, because then you already start with this sort of dialogical relationship between material culture that's been forgotten and your memory of that time. Um, or the memory, you know, as it basically is and I think memory is largely formed through contemporary representations that reinforce certain ideas of that time. So if I work with a magazine that was that's long since discarded on the sort of scrap heap of cultural detritus, and you bring that back into the equation, then I think that it interrupts our, the contemporary representations of 1973 and challenges them. 